Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and today I'm going to show you how to fix EAC3 audio not supported in MX player. It's very easy and simple, all you have to do is to follow my steps and before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the notifications. Now sometimes guys when you open the MX player and go to any movie and try to open it, you can see a down below message right here saying that EAC3 audio format not supported but here in my case it's supported but I will show you how to exactly fix this so now what you should do is to simply open your google search bar then type here mx player codec armv8 neon then click on it and you can simply choose any one of these links right here and download this codec but I will choose this one right here because it belongs to the mx player mode back so i'm gonna download it simply or i will simply leave you down below a link that you can enter through google drive and download the codec file so now after opening the link down below in the description all you have to do right now is to click on these three dots right here then click on download button and wait till this item or this file right here is downloaded now after downloading the file what I want you to do right now is to simply go to MX player again then go back go to the settings in MX player so I'm gonna click on this icon right here then go to settings then as you can see here that you have the decoder option and click on the decoder option then go down till you find custom codec right here it will be down to the bottom then click on it and it will show you this file right here so what you're gonna do is very simple you're gonna click on the zip file that we have downloaded mxaio 1.44.0 or whatever new codec version did you download then click on it now here in my case as you can see i should use another version so what you're gonna do right now is to simply download the newest versions but now i have shown you the method so you're gonna click on ok and after choosing or installing the right version of codec it will ask you to restart your application so i'm gonna go back and close the application from this side and that's all for today i hope this video is useful to you all thanks for watching and see you in a new video